They say in the sting landed dozens in handcuffs today. Deputies and CHP officers managed to cut off the illegal and dangerous races near Broadway and Imperial Highway in South LA. CBS News' Cara Finstrom is live with details. Cara? Well, you can see the heavy skid and donut marks in the street just behind us here. Some of that is fresh from last night, but those who live in the area say most of it is evidence of a bigger ongoing problem. My son is the one that kept waking me up, and he kept telling me, Mom, I can't sleep, I can't sleep, I'm scared. Margaret Granados heard the car street racing outside her window, then the helicopter and the big bust. Sheriff officials, the CHP, and other agencies say together they arrested 44 people, cited 209 others, and towed away 54 cars. Mary Neve says the crackdown is long overdue. They go like maybe 120 miles. They just fly through here, and it's crazy. Neve says street racing takes place here nearly every weekend. Sheriff officials tell us the races are fueled by internet postings like this one. They say they're growing in popularity and often draw more than 300 cars and 500 spectators. They find out where to go through social media posts. There are several areas throughout uh, this general area of Los Angeles that they congregate. And we have assistance from our helicopters. Last night, sheriff helicopters spotted several small races from Compton to Carson to Rancho Dominguez and the Coliseum. Then at about 12.30, they say all the cars moved and congregated here at once. That's when officials sealed off the area and started making arrests. <laughs> About 12.30, they say all the cars moved and congregated here at once. That's when officials sealed off the area and started making arrests. Some of them are arrestable offenses. Um, being a spectator at street race is also illegal, as well as being the driver. Deputies say they want to enforce that these races are crimes and can be deadly. They hope to help reverse the glamorization of street racing, not only through internet videos, but TV shows and movies. He's perhaps increase the, the number of individuals that want to come out and check it out. And it's when you have individuals that are very inexperienced in their driving abilities to begin with, and now they're trying to do these tricks that others are emulating, they, you know, they put themselves at risk. And investigators say they will take a close look at those cars that were impounded to see if they were illegally modified to make them go faster. <laughs> A close look at those cars that were impounded to see if they were illegally modified to make them go faster. Reporting live here from South LA, Cara Finstrom, CBS 2 News. Frank, good morning to you. We're learning brand new details about this investigation. Apparently it was officers with LASD and CHP that worked together to bust up the street racing that was happening and they used social media to track down the folks that race in this <laughs> They used social media to track down the folks that race in this area. Let me use social media to track down the folks that race in this area. Let me get out of the way really quickly and show you some of the tire marks that are at Imperial and Broadway and Unincorporated South LA. And actually, as we move the camera over to the left side, have a look at the street over there. You can see the tire markings all over the street. We spoke with the CHP officer earlier this morning. Here's what he told us about the bust. Well, recently we've uh, seen an uptick of uh, street racing side shows. Uh, just a lot of chaos on our uh, L.A. County Unincorporated and uh, southern part of uh, Los Angeles. And so we've come together with the uh, Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and the, and the CHP, and um, we basically took it down. You know, We boxed them in here to Imperial and uh, Broadway because this is the main place they converge to do this type of illegal activity. We have uh, brand new details this morning at 8 o'clock, specifically the number of people that were taken into custody. 44 arrests. We have 54 vehicles that were towed. And listen to this, 209 citations. And we're told some of the citations do include people that were driving on a suspended license as well as drug charges. But if you didn't know, even watching a street race is illegal. You well, even watching a street race is illegal. You can receive a citation, and some of those 209, that's why they receive those citations. We spoke with one of the people who said that he was a spectator. Here's what he told us about the arrests. Come to hang out with my friends, you know, have a good time. You know, it's sad that in L.A. they have no places for us to. You know, to go have a car meetup or anything like that. You know, it's sad.
Again, officers telling us a majority of the street racing that happens in this part of unincorporated South L.A. happened on Saturday and Sunday, specifically at nighttime. So that's why officers made the bus Sunday night. And they do encourage anyone at home that if you see straight racing happening in your area or anywhere for that night. Dozens of men and women out for a night of thrills found themselves on the wrong side of the law. That's after multiple law enforcement agencies teamed up to bust an illegal street racing event. As NBC4's Annette Areola explains, deputies are hoping to send a strong message about what they call a growing problem. It was a massive overnight roundup that put the brakes on what was gearing up to be another illegal street race. And it was just a matter of locating the vehicles wherever they decided to congregate. A total of 250 cars detained during a joint operation between the California Highway Patrol and the Sheriff's Department. According to officials, the sheriff's chopper had been following large... Don't you forget about me. been following large groups of people around South LA potentially engaging in illegal street racing activity. By midnight, deputies had them surrounded at Broadway and Imperial. This was a huge success. Uh, I think we prevented a lot of uh, accidents and or possible fatalities. A total of 54 vehicles towed, 209 citations handed out, and 44 people taken into custody. All of them are arrestable offenses. Um, being a spectator at a street race is also illegal, as well as being the driver in, in a street race. Illegal street racing has become a growing problem across the county, oftentimes with deadly consequences. Officials hope that today's crackdown sends a clear message to those who have ever thought about taking part in an illegal race that the behaviors and the, the driving patterns are dangerous and that we as law enforcement are not only dealing with it and addressing it in our own agencies, but we're joining together um, with the other agencies to, to show these, these folks that this is not okay. In South Los Angeles, and at Arriola, NBC. We are learning some new information tonight about a major crackdown on the secretive world of street racing and car culture. We were there overnight when dozens of people were arrested and hundreds cited at a gathering in South L.A. NBC4's Patrick Healy is live in Carson right now with what he has learned. Patrick? Well, in fact, so many were arrested there, still processing some of them through here at the Carson Sheriff Station. It is still not clear exactly what brought some from as far away as Oakland, but it has become apparent the phrase street racing does not fully describe it. A major law enforcement crackdown on the underground car culture. We got about 100 squad cars right here. Everybody the taker of this Facebook cell phone video describing the early morning commotion as sheriff's deputies and CHP officers moved in on the hundreds who had gathered on LA's south side. These takeovers ain't no joke. So we are expecting about 800 vehicles. LA Sheriff Sergeant Monica Botello told us they picked up intel weeks in advance of a car contingent from the San Francisco Bay Area coming south to celebrate the Marijuana Day 420. She said a sheriff's helicopter observed some doing donuts. Deputies and officers did not wait to see racing and hemmed in the throng on Broadway south of Imperial. They were actually funneled and brought into a specific point that we could then make contact. By law enforcement's count, 54 vehicle impounds, 209 citations, 44 arrests, a handful for reckless driving, most for other offenses. They ran the gamut from uh, outstanding warrants to those types of vehicle code violations. Donut skids now mark Broadway on this fairly isolated stretch beneath the 110-105 interchange. One of the few neighbors said she was at work and missed it. I'm not discounting their activity. Donald Galas is, by his admission, a former street racer, now committed to the opening of legal drag strips as an alternative. It is dangerous. Galas makes the point car culture has many facets and contends it was not a planned race this morning, rather something called a sideshow. I just want to make sure that we know that sideshows and street racing is two different things. And to be clear, sideshows and in particular stunting have proven to be dangerous as well. Live in Carson, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News. A crackdown on illegal street racing in Southern California as this dangerous and sometimes deadly spectator sport grows in popularity. Good evening, I'm Michelle Tuzzi. I'm Mark Brown. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell is live in Chatsworth where two people died during a street race earlier this year. Amy. Mark, that fatal accident happened right here on this street, and 
area residents tell us illegal racing still goes on here. You can see the skid marks from cars spinning out here. LA authorities say they're going after street racers. Cars spinning out of control, turning city streets into speedways. Dozens of LA County Sheriff's deputies and CHP officers swarm parts of South Los Angeles overnight, cracking down on street racing. Our cameras capturing this video during an exclusive ABC News ride along. Dozens of our cameras capturing this video during an exclusive ABC News ride along. Dozens of our cameras capturing this video during an exclusive ABC News ride along. Dozens are arrested after more than 200 cars are trapped during the sweep near West Imperial Highway and Broadway. They think it's us versus them mentality. In February, two people were killed. Street takeover, Lauren. That is when uh, the, the people, the drivers of cars, they go ahead and they do uh, donuts and, uh, you know, they swing back and forth with their car, which is a little bit different than an actual street race. That's actually going in a straight line. Now, I was speaking with detectives about this, and they say that it's been an ongoing problem. And, of course, when they heard that there was going to be a takeover right here on 420 day, they planned a bus. Now, you can still see if I get out of the shot here. There are a number of tire marks in the road out here and, and some car pieces actually as well. Now the racers tell uh, they weren't happy about uh, the arrests that were made and they actually captured some of that on their cell phones. Uh, take a look at this video. In this clip from Hood Famous TV, you can see bystanders jumping on a patrol car, yelling and throwing bottles at police. More than 40 people were arrested on drug-related charges, and more than 200 others were given citations for driving without a license or with a suspended license. Longtime street racer and lieutenant of the Brotherhood of Street Racers, Donald Galaz, says even after this bust, the street racing and takeovers are going to keep happening. It could happen anywhere. Uh, last night, where the bust was, it could be somewhere different tonight. Uh, we can move or any, anywhere we want at a moment's notice, really quick, and uh, it would be hard for law enforcement to probably try and navigate us and find us. You know, uh, we're constantly moving all the time. It's something that's never going to go away. We're not going to stop being out there. More than 500 people showed up to watch the takeover at the intersection of Broadway and Imperial Highway in South Los Angeles as drivers conducted donuts and burnouts. Shortly after midnight, dozens of deputies showed up and started making arrests. It was important because it's getting bigger and bigger. Um, it's highly dangerous because it's not controlled. You have people that are uh, spectators as well, which again, if any vehicle loses control, um, they could run into these spectators, uh, again, could cause uh, death. On February 25th, a street racing accident led to the death of two men. This after one of the cars lost control and crashed into a crowd in Chatsworth. Two people were arrested and charged in the crash. Al Galaz tells me that safety is really important to them and they don't want any more people to get hurt. They say that there are uh, racetracks you know, in Irwindale and Fontana, but there's nothing here in LA and so that's what they're hoping to find. Now, of course, I was looking around out here and I mentioned there are car parts. Now, here's one of the things that I found out here and, and I also found this. So. Uh, there's definitely, I should probably be careful about what I'm touching. I'll send it back to you guys. Oh, yeah.